Hey everybody, welcome to YouTube Live from Zach Smith Photography Studio, located at 4514 Magazine Street in New Orleans, Louisiana. Anybody that pops in here, feel free to ask a question, but we're going to be talking about the Sunny 16 rule for manual exposure. The Sunny 16 rule, in short, is a very easy way to set the exposure on your camera manually, meaning set the shutter speed and the aperture to get the proper light exposure. Proper light exposure, kind of a subjective thing, right? But in this case, the Sunny 16 rule is exposing the full unencumbered sun on your subject, giving you a, an exposure that agrees with the highlights. So let's say our perfect scene for this explanation would be a portrait of a person in a field and the sun is behind us. So that Z is the sun, okay? Shining over my head and onto you. So our exposure would be, as the Sunny 16 rule states, F16, so our aperture is 16, our shutter speed is one over the ISO. If we want the sharpest, best image, we wanna pick a lower ISO. So let's say 200. A lot of people say the lower is the better. But we find that 200 is a good native ISO for most digital SLRs and mirrorless. ISO 200, so your shutter speed is one over 200. So one 200th of a second. F16. 1 over 200 at ISO 200. Snap and review. You always want to review your pictures after you take them because that way, using the, uh, the uh, variable that you don't mind changing, you can then open up and let more light in or stop down and let less light in based on the quality of the exposure. Um, so another little helpful hint for those of you still with me here is the Cloudy 8. Never heard of that either, huh? Because I just made it up. The Cloudy 8 says that if we go outside with our cameras, we're ready to do the Sunny 16 rule, but our subject is in that field, and it's cloudy. Huge cloud over the sun. So we want to start with the Cloudy 8 rule of exposure. You guessed it. F8 at 1 over your ISO. So the good thing about that is when we set that, we can look in our camera, and if we test the shot, all we need to do is if we want to change the shutter speed, open up by spinning to the left or stop down, or open up by spinning to the left on the aperture or stopping down. Now, the left and the right features can be adjusted in most newer cameras. The default modes in most digital SLRs are, is left, open up, right, stop down. Three clicks per stop. You could change that to two clicks. So full stop is three clicks, sometimes it's two. So I hope that helps you. I would say, Go outside right now. Okay. I, I'll wait for you. Okay, okay, you can probably pause this. Okay, go outside right now, do the sunny 16 rule or the cloudy eight. Take a picture, come back and show me. Okay, so you pause it, you're coming back. So take a look at that picture. Is it underexposed? Is it overexposed? And did you play back? And did you tweak the aperture or shutter speed after that. You did? Well, great. That's what photography is all about. Experimenting, using these techniques until you get it right and until it becomes muscle memory, until you can move these dials without even thinking. Great street documentary photography is done this way, where you're thinking and feeling on the fly. So I hope you like this little uh, Sunny 16 technique. I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll subscribe. And if you're ever in the New Orleans area, take a look at one of my workshops where I can teach you in person how to get the best photographs of your life and learn how to tell your story. Thank you.